Here is probably our favorite hatchling that we had this season, probably the favorite that will hatch out this entire season. Hey, what's up everybody? It's Jake from Gen Z Reptiles. And if you don't know who we are, me and my brother Josh behind the camera run Gen Z Reptiles out of Eastern Iowa. And today we're gonna to be doing a clutch update of several clutches. Let's check out these babies. So this is from our second clutch. And this was the Dinker clutch that I uh, got a lot of views on that video, so you might recognize some of these babies. But right here we have the two that are the Rudy Jean, which is a little bit more of a peachy snake with a dark black back. This is a wild type over here. And then this one is a black pastel, and we can't tell if it has the Rudy Jean or not. Um, we'll have to see Rudy and Combo a little bit more, but basically what's happening with this one is its back is jet black. And then the oranges on here are just this deep burnt orange. There are a few examples of black pastels that look similar, but um, like I said, we're gonna have to see a few more examples of what Rudy does in combo. We're definitely gonna be holding back this this one right here, this male, and possibly one or two of these Rudys. Um, this one's actually gonna be going to his new home this week. So this is from that Wookie combo to Pied. So all of these are Het Pied, and these two are actually pastel phantoms so the reaction between those genes is you get this really nice contrast between the yellows from the pastel and the deep blacks from the phantoms the het pied comes in really well right here with this boy so he has kind of a ringer down by the tail uh, yeah you can see it a lot better on that side but these two will actually be up for grabs and they're pounding mice like crazy so um, if you guys are interested in those definitely hit us up and what we're gonna do next is show you what happens when you throw Wookie into that combo. So this is gonna be Pastel Phantom Wookie. And they look similar in terms of color palette, but what Wookie does, what we've noticed is that it brings a closer to solid stripe down the back. So there's more of a stripe down the back. And then on the sides, there's higher whites and the head's always a little bit more narrow on Wookiees for some reason. It's just, it's super subtle, but. Another thing you notice is like some of these like popcorn looking patterns and then like the alien heads tend to be a little more floaty on these too. So. Yeah, a little bit more floaty, um, a little bit more space in between them too, so. So this is another sibling from that clutch and it is the Pinstripe Phantom. And that's also Hep Pied obviously. And then we stack Pastel on top of that and the pastel brings out more of a yellow color in, and it also makes the head a little bit purple, which is pretty cool, but the general pattern is the same. And then what we do is we will replace the, let's see, phantom. We replace the phantom with Wookiee, and then we get this. So the Wookiee, it makes the pattern appear a lot more chunky. It's like almost shrapnel looking. It's just so um, messy, but I just love that look. Absolutely love the look. So these are actually our favorites from the clutch. We are fiends for that dark stuff. And these all three have Wookiee in them. So unfortunately we didn't hit the greatest odds for Wookiee females. This is the only Wookiee female that we hit. But she's a definite holdback. And then these two are male Wookiee Phantom Het Pides. So the, there's obviously some polymorphism there. This guy right here, you can see more of that Het Pied influence popping out, so that impacts the color a little bit more, but they're just stunning animals. It, it's, I don't really even know what else to say besides, I just love the dark stuff and Wookie does it justice. So this was actually from our Wookie combo male, and he was bred to a blue-eyed leucistic. So we uh, wanted to see if the Wookie played any role in the blue-eyed leucistics, but as with most blue-eyed Lucy combos, the white overtakes almost everything, so it's hard to tell what's in there until you breed them to prove them out. But one that came out pretty cool was right here. You can see it has that solid golden stripe down the back. So I'm not sure if that's like the pinstripe coming through or if that is indeed Wookiee having that influence on it. Sometimes there's polymorphism that shows up too. And some of these other ones, you can see there's like a little bit of a color gradient. So on top it's more purple and on the sides it's more bright white. Um, once again, it's just so tough to tell what genes are in there. Um, but we've got five of them that are like pretty wicked uh, looking. They're, they have a lot of potential for 
holding jeans, a lot of jeans. So one of the benefits of breeding a super is that you know that every single baby is carrying at least one copy of it. So in the case that we had is a super lesser, that means every single one of these babies is carrying the lesser gene. But we hit a couple of visual Wookiees in this. And so those are the ones on this side. And we have a Wookiee lesser pinstripe right there. This one is Wookiee lesser pinstripe add pastel. And then this one right here is subtract Wookiee. So that's gonna be lesser pinstripe and pastel. So this right here is probably our favorite hatchling that we had this season, probably the favorite that will hatch out this entire season. And it is a blue-eyed leucistic paradox. You could see some of the stuff that's showing through on the sides resembles what would come through on a pinstripe. And probably there's pastel, and I believe there's probably Wookiee in that as well. But it just got a lot of paradoxing going on. And it just, it almost looks like a pied with how um, good the contrast is and how much patterns on there. But there's obviously no pied in this gene pool. So um, we're looking at that blue-eyed leucistic paradox and it's likely carrying some other genes that are showing up through the paradoxing. That wraps up the clutch updates for this video. We're gonna have some more clutch updates soon and some more egg cutting, so stay tuned for that. And also we're posting on Instagram, so give us a follow there. Anything else you wanted to add, Josh? Yep, so as soon as these babies take their third meal, we're gonna be posting them on Morph Market, so be on the lookout if you are interested in any of them that we showed today. Yeah, and some of the babies are already selling like hotcakes, so don't miss out on that. Um, one more thing I just wanted to say, thank you guys for watching. Hope everybody's having a great season, and we'll see you next time.